Hello everybody, it's me Kenneth from Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. And today, what I'm gonna be making today is gonna mean it's gonna uh, mess you up. I'm gonna be making some uh, red velvet pancake Oreo cookies. Pancake or red velvet Oreo or red red velvet Oreo cookie pancakes. You can see uh I took my uh, you see I took the cookies out of there, red velvet cookies out of there. And put that right there. And I chopped them up real good. See I chopped them up real good. I'll put some of that in here. And now, that would be more. Okay. Uh, some grease in my skillet. Red velvet pancake. Oreo cookie. Alright. And now. Top it go here. Pancake. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of pancake mix. I'm just I'm eyeballing. I'm using about a half a cup. About a half a cup. Have a cup of water here. Okay, a little, need a little bit more. I get a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more. Let y'all see what it look like. Okay, that's what it look like. Or your cookies in there. Red berry or your cookies in there. Chuck them Oreos. Thought I'd do something with them. I'm gonna make sure my skillet is hot. Well, I'll put that in now. Now, okay, all right, okay, it's about hot. See, it's real good. It smells just like Oreo cookies, too. Just made me one. Let y'all see how I, how I look at everything. Okay, I'm gonna fix it up real good. Put this. Okay, I'm through with this. Put this back. Pantry. Put that right there. Head to this thing. Okay. Grease. Put the grease. Clean up as you go, because when you get through, you don't have that much to do. Play right there. Oreo Real Devil Pancake.
Doing something. Doing something. Okay, the pancakes, I've been having a pancake for a while, the pancake mix for a while, but I bought the pancake mix because it's Aunt your Mama, so it was $2.99, and the Oreo cookies, the Oreo cookies, they was on sale, so they might go up, they might don't, they might not go up, but they was on sale. For one nine nine, so two nine nine, one nine nine, and uh, I have some whipped cream. I got I uh, purchased for ninety nine cent, and I have some chocolate syrup. I purchased for ninety nine cent. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over now. It's time to flip it over. Kind of break up on me, but uh, that's all in good. That's all really good though. And I still got plans for it. Now I'm gonna dress it up. I'm still gonna dress it up, fix it up, cause it's breaking apart on me. But um, that's all good though, cause I got something I'm gonna do with it though. I like how it's doing it. It's cool. It's breaking up on me. It's real alright. I'm not tripping about it. But you know what? I didn't try this out before I decided to make it. I just made it. You know, some people try it out and be like, I'm going to try it out and see how it's going to go. I didn't do that. Uh, fix it. Yours might turn out different than mine's turned it out, but uh, at the same time, just try to give you um, a little idea on how to make something different, or how to um, spice up your your food and how to do something different with your food and your desserts and stuff.
Shut the syrup on now. This is how you make red velvet or your cookie pancake. Taste this up. Mm, yeah. This meat kettle. This is my show, everything from the wheelchair cooking show. Mm, you know, I try to cook stuff out of ordinary and stuff. Everybody try to cook meals and stuff that uh, you might not see the, uh, no, somebody cooking stuff. You know, I try to do something different and um, continue following my show and be a blessing to me. So I can be a blessing to someone else. If you know somebody else that's in a wheelchair, just trying to do something with their life or trying to change their life around. You know, turn to my show, you know, and um, maybe, maybe I can make a difference in their life, letting them know that, you know, just because you're in a chair or you got a disability, um, that don't mean the world, it, it, it stops right there. It only stops in, unless you make it stop, you know, so you got to be positive and have positive people in your life and have people in your life that want to see you succeed and want the best for you. And with that being said, like I always say, if you want somebody to bless what you're doing, bless what the next person doing. Thank you. Come with you.